So I was talking to somebody recently about the events going on in social media and YouTube content creation and the topics that are covered on this channel, topics that are covered on Preparing for Survival's channel, topics that are covered on Economic Prepper's channel, and also, you know, what has been going on in the prepper community in relation to previously pinball preparedness going down temporarily, and now Alaska Prepper is serving time in YouTube jail, apparently, for some content that he created. I did not see it. I don't know exactly what allowed, you know, caused him to get a strike, but this was brought up, and ironically, at the same time, uh, a non-prepper-related uh, figure, so to speak, I was asked about, and it was a gentleman by the name of Andrew Tate. And to be 100% honest with you, I had no clue who Andrew Tate was until I was asked. Now, I don't think I would consider him to be a prepper. Uh, I don't even know if I would consider him to be uh, any tr true influencer besides, you know, any 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 positive means of in influ influencing an audience or a crowd. Uh, he, I believe he has some sort of hustler, uh, money-making, financial program or course that he offers or something but uh, I did come across a, a, a statement from Andrew Tate and it says that Andrew Tate told the independent and, and the reason why I bring this up is because I think it ties to what we're seeing going on now with the content that we're bringing you guys the information that we're bringing to you and I hope that I'm not putting myself and my channel at risk by sharing this but either way so be it uh, Andrew Tate told The Independent, I don't agree with being banned. People get banned from Twitter all the time and just make new profiles. I'm not inciting violence, promoting terrorism, or harassing anyone. This is censorship of free speech. I've never had specific tweets banned or been cautioned. Now, chances are that if you're a social media user, you've probably seen Andrew Tate popping up on your feed recently. Every other video seems to feature him on TikTok and Instagram over the last few weeks, and he's becoming one of the most ubiquitous faces on the app, as well as one of the most controversial. He's certainly exercising his First and 14th Amendment rights on social media apps like TikTok and Instagram since his termination from Twitter. Now, the question I have for you is, is this the new direction that we should expect to see creators heading towards? Uh, Alaska Prepper is still serving his suspension from YouTube. And for ultimately what I believe is him exercising his right to freedom of speech. I don't, like I said, I don't know for a fact. I didn't watch what he was broadcasting or know exactly what caused him to get a strike to put him on a one week suspension which I would expect to uh, get some sort of clarity on this and information on this when he returns hopefully I wish you all the best um, but uh, you know is this something that we should expect to see from creators as they have to shift and switch platforms as the content and information that they're bringing however, however they may deem it to be uh, is censored by the platform. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Now, although Alaska Prepper is nowhere near the same niche as Andrew Tate, uh, where Tate speaks about his claims of personal wealth, and he recently said in an interview, uh, I was broke for a long time. I made my first million when I was 27. Now, I got I to gotta, I gotta slow down here for just one second and say I was broke for a long time. I made my first million when I was 27. I don't think 27 is a long time. So uh, I know people who are like 50 years old, 60 years old who've been broke their entire lives. That's a long time. But either way, he said, I made my first million when I was 27. And then I had 100 million by the time I was 31, 32. Like, look, more power to you. That's a, a huge accomplishment. But this is where the, his statement kind of like goes off the rails. He goes and says, I then became a trillionaire quite recently. Well, that completely negates everything he just said prior to that, because let's just be clear here. There are no trillionaires on the planet. In fact, according to Forbes, Elon Musk is worth about a quarter of a, uh, a quarter of a trillion dollars at 250 billion. So that might be wishful thinking on Tate's behalf. However, Essential Sports estimates that his net worth to be around 30 million, which is shy of the 100 million he claimed at 31, 32 years old. 
I'm not here to, you know, debunk his his wealth and his uh, his checking and savings account balances. I don't really care. But I do want you guys to be uh, paying attention and preparing yourselves for the information that could be coming to you from possible influencers, possible creators, possible social media uh, faces and brands, as well as the information that may be withheld from you through censorship and other uh, means of, of that nature. Now, we have to be careful on whom we listen to, what they say, and just how much we should believe them. Uh, so uh, these are the types of folks that you would expect to hear about scamming people out of money and running pyramid schemes from fake crypto meme coins and NFT scams uh, in, in the future. But seriously, there are some great channels out there like Southern Prepper One, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and City Prepping that I believe are sharing valuable information. Other channels including, but not limited to, Jeremiah Babe, I Allegedly, Poplar Preparedness, and The Economic Ninja are definitely sharing valuable financial prep content as well. Now, there are more channels out there, and even though I haven't listed them, it is by no means my way of saying to not watch them or to blatantly avoid them. It's just, to be honest with you, it would take hours for me to list all the great channels I watch, and we don't have time for that right now. But I want you guys just to be aware and be mindful of the content that's out there, the creators that are out there, as well as those that are kind of getting uh uh, silenced, so to speak, uh, including Alaska Prepper. And hopefully we don't see too much more of this in the future. Uh, YouTube, it, they have a policy. They have a, a content creator policy. They have a YouTube partner uh, program policy as well for monetized videos and monetized content that, you know, uh, is a little vague and a little ambiguous. Uh, and really hard to navigate especially if you do get slapped on the wrist as their communications aren't always the best so uh i would i would say for me i'm going to try to avoid anything that could possibly or potentially cause me to get a strike and also uh read up on the policies and make sure that i'm familiar with them so that you know i don't uh uh unintentionally put myself in a position uh to 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 be sh to receive a strike only to say oh i didn't know because it's, it's according to the algorithm and according to youtube and everything like that there's no i didn't know there's no i'm sorry i didn't know i couldn't do that they kind of they, they at best you get a warning but even still i wouldn't really want to have a channel with a warning on it if you know i have um lofty goals for these channels growth and success and ability to reach people and share valuable information uh, back and forth so I would try to avoid that and the best way to do it is just to make sure that you're aligning yourself and your content with their policies and not going outside of that or, or giving them any possible reason to uh, give you a negative strike now YouTube is supposed to and I put a community post up about this uh, yesterday they're supposed to implement a new method of filtering through the comments and trying to eliminate some spam and some uh, fictitious uh, impersonating accounts and different things like that. You guys have probably seen it. You're probably as much tired of it as I am. Uh, I do my best, but I can only do so much with these bots and these spam accounts that show up. Uh, if you see any account with my face, which they've copied my face and also my name, to impersonate me if you see them reaching out to you in the comments trying to uh send you like a whatsapp number or get you to email them or something like that uh or, or some special email or anything like that ignore it because to be 100 percent honest with you i don't really respond to too many comments so the odds are it's not me and i definitely won't respond and and send any whatsapp numbers and if you have any question on how to contact me my information's in the description and that's the only way you should try to contact me and the only way that I'll contact you as well. So, uh, you know, let's just try to avoid those because I think that they're trying to leverage the community. They're trying to leverage our family here by using my face and my name to trick you into some, um, some scams and some ways of taking your money away from you and different things like that. I'm going to tell you guys right now, there's no get rich quick scheme out there and if there was, I wouldn't promote it because uh, it's just not possible. But like I said, trying to build your wealth and being broke until 27, I don't think 27 is a long time. So to be honest with you, I think you know you can see wealth in a, in a relatively short period of time, but get rich quick overnight. 
you know, I'm making some, I see these little bots in the comments talking about, I get $32,000 a week from this investment I made. Like, that's crazy. It, that's not, that's not, I'm not going to say it's like not real, but honestly, if it were, no one would be pr promoting that information in the comments. They would just keep that to themselves and make the money themselves. It's just, it's just not real. So I just want you guys to be aware, be prepared and, uh, and be smart. I know you guys are smart. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. The reason why you're here and watching the videos that I put up is because you are smart and because you're intelligent and you want to gain additional knowledge and education on how to improve and better prepare for SHTF. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you. And I want to see you all succeed. I want to see you all do the very best. So uh, uh, just share some information. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment below. My links are in the description. Uh, those who have joined the group, welcome. Thank you. Uh, we'll be putting up more information today on uh, for you guys on building wealth and reaching your personal financial goals and success and starting your, your, your small business side hustle and passive income streams. I'll be back with you guys real soon with another update. You guys take care. Bye.